was good, y'all. Rich Sosa back in a building. And as y'all can see from the looks of the title and the screen today, I'm going to be showing y'all how to create the top three best power forward builds in NBA 2K23 on next gen. Now, this is also going to apply to current gen. But before we get any further into this video, man, thank you, God, for another day and another opportunity. And man, if it's your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Now let's go ahead and get into the making of this first build, the two-way stretch glass cleaner with a total of 73 badges and we're going to be able to get pro contact dunks on this build. So to get started, go ahead and put this build out of the power forward position. We're going to go with the height of 6'8". 240 for the weight with a 73 wingspan. Now I already have the build set up perfectly, so all you need to do is copy and paste and we're going to be set to go. But before anything else, we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about each and every one of these builds. So when it comes down to this first build, I would have to say this is the shortest one out of all three. But when it comes down to what it's going to be able to do, this is the closest version of a guard that we're going to be seeing. Now the defense is definitely there. When it comes down to the finishing, we do get the contact dunks with a total of eight badges. Now that's all we're going to need. And I'm going to be sure to bring y'all exactly how I did go about the badge layout for all three of these builds. Now when it comes down to the shooting for this build, we are definitely set to go. We get a mid-range shot of a 72 to 73, but if you want to, you can raise this anywhere all the way up to an 80. Now, when it comes down to the three-point shot, this is going to be an 85, and we get a total of 19 badges out of this area. The main thing that I wanted to focus on when it comes down to the finishing was going to be able to get the contact dunks, but even when it comes down to the playmaking, we're pretty balanced out of this area as well. Now, every single setup is made perfectly to where we can go about the badge layout a certain way, but if you want to make any changes towards any of these builds, I promise you we can do that. Now, if you want to change any area of this build, the main thing that I recommend keeping the same at least is going to be the defense and the shooting. Now, overall, I got to say this build definitely has everything that you want. You get the contact dunks, also going to be able to shoot from deep. Then when it comes down to the playmaking, we're also going to be able to get some pretty good playout badges. Then when it comes down to the actual dribble moves, you're going to have also everything that you need in this area as well. Now, for the defensive area, you can make adjustments, but overall, you're going to be able to guard any build 1 through the 5 and that's the best thing about this build in my opinion. Now when it comes down to the actual physicals, I did max out that speed and acceleration. Went with the 72 strength so that way we're not too weak down below. But then when it comes down to the vertical, make sure you go with the 75 and you're going to be set to go to getting all of the pro contact dunks. Now with the takeovers, we get the sharp shooting. Also going to be able to get the lockdown, rim protecting as well as the glass cleaning. So we get all 3 of the defensive takeovers out of this build with the sharpshooting which makes it super versatile now for the takeovers that i'm going to go with it's going to be the sharpshooting and the lockdown let's go ahead and check out the actual build name to make sure we made it correctly and as y'all can see if you did and followed along exactly we have got the two-way stretch glass cleaner build now i'm telling y'all this is only the first build on this list going further down the line we're going to get more into well-rounded builds but as far as when it comes down to the badge counts look what we're going to be using so we get a good amount of badges hall of fame box out beast Pogo stick and even rebound chaser then when it comes down to the core badge you're also going to be able to get gold challenger now when it comes down to the finishing seat everything works out perfectly as long as you follow a setup that fits to your own play style i feel like that's going to be the best way to go about any of these three builds now i'm just showing y'all a small guide in what you should be doing when it comes down to the actual badge counts but if you want to change anything other than what i'm showing y'all that's another way to go about it as well now let's go ahead and get into the second build on this list the glass cleaning finisher and this one is more of a Giannis build. So we're going to go ahead and get started by putting this build under the power forward position. But when it comes down to the actual badges, we're going to be able to get 65. But I'm telling you, this is the most perfect Giannis build that you're going to be able to make. We're also going to be able to get all of the elite contact tanks. So be sure to stay tuned for this one. And a quick reminder, man, I just want to go ahead and say thank you to everybody who has been showing love on every single video. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because I'm uploading every single day. And y'all are definitely not going to want to miss and again i just want to say thank you god for giving me this platform giving me this opportunity it means the most to me so let's go ahead and check out this build so as you can see for the finishing we get a total of 20 badges but when it comes down to the tiers of badges you get a good amount of hall of fame also when it comes down to gold and the main thing is that we're going to be able to maintain gold bully badge now when it comes down to the shooting 
we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we get that threshold of a 73 pointer now for those of y'all who know joe knows he has put out a video on the power of a 73 point shot and i'm telling y'all from what i'm showing you right here we're definitely gonna be able to shoot this year and for everybody who is still watching go ahead and let me know in the comments where are you tuning in from whether that's a different city state or country i most definitely got y'all with the response but when it comes down to these playmaking badges i feel like i was able to make my badge loadout perfect because i was able to put on the main core badges when it comes down to playmaking in general then also considering that we're able to add on a core badge you're able to use the most expensive badge as that area now for the defense we get a total of 23 badges the wealth is pretty spread out and especially when it comes down to the gold tier badge we're going to be able to get a good amount of these in this area as well now if you want to you can make adjustments to try to get extra hall of fame badges but the way that i'm bringing it to y'all right now is going to be the best way to go about it making a Giannis build now for the physicals we did max out the speed and acceleration went with an 89 strength 82 for the vertical now for my stamina i'm going to go with an 88 now this is going to be the perfect way to start out going with this build now let's check out the takeovers we get the slashing also going to be able to get the playmaking then we get the rim protecting and finally we also get the glass cleaning now if you wanted to you can go with double slashing takeovers that's something that i would take into consideration but again if you want to be more well-rounded you can go with two defensive takeovers or split it right down the middle with an offensive and a defensive now for my liking to be more like Giannis, i would go with finishing moves the second one you can go with advanced gathers but i'm gonna go with easy blow buys now let's go ahead and check out the build name and i'm telling y'all if you made it exactly how i brought it to you you're gonna be able to get this build name and as y'all can see at number two we were able to create the glass cleaning finisher now i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the badge loadout and what i went with and i'm telling you if you want to make this build this is definitely going to be the perfect way to go about making this build now i did leave out the core shooting badge because i feel like you can choose any of these based to your own liking but when it comes down to the finishing i'm telling you right there i was able to put on gold bully as my core badge for this area now out of all three builds on this list i would definitely have to say this one is going to be the most true center now what i mean by that is you're going to be able to shoot as you want but i'm telling y'all you're going to be more plain on the inside as well as driving to the hole now when it comes down to this final build this face up four is going to be my personal build that i'm going to be using throughout the year especially going into season one i believe these are going to be the top three power forward builds now let's go ahead and get started by putting this build at six nine when it comes down to the weight i did go with two 10 now for my wingspan i wanted to stress the point of getting at least an 89 to a 93 point shot i went with seven feet exactly for my wingspan now right here once we go ahead and get into the breakdown of this build let's go ahead and talk about a few things so if it comes down to the finishing once you become a starter in my career you're going to be able to add plus four badges towards this area now if you grind out a few extra seasons that's going to be a plus three and you're going to be able to add on a core badge out of tier three now imagine what this build will be looking like with silver bully on making it that much more better all around in my opinion now for the shooting you can also add badges into this area as well we get 24 and an 89 three-pointer if you go with a 90 that's going to give us one extra badge but i believe once we go ahead and add on cosmetics that's going to give us a plus one to our three-pointer this is going to be applied and we're going to be able to get more badges with hall of fame tiers but also even an extra badge point now when it comes down to this build overall on the offensive end we'll be able to get the pro contact dunks now when it comes down to the actual badge count we're gonna get a total of 70 badges before anything added now that's before adding on plus four from becoming a starter adding on anything from any extra season now that really says a lot about this build and what it's going to be able to do but when it comes down to the playmaking i did max out my ball handle go with the max out speed with ball as well now the pass accuracy i'm going to go with the 68 and i'm telling you once you add boost that's going to be just enough for this build now i did add my plus four towards this area for the playmaking so essentially you will have 20 badges out of this area let's go ahead and check out the defense now 20 badges and the main thing about this build what i like to run is chase down artists on hall of fame now out of tier three we have four silver badges and this is definitely the most balanced way that i would go about making any power forward you have the dribble move set on lock then when it comes down to the shooting you're able to shoot just as good as any other build now for the finishing we are able to get the pro contact dunks and that's what i was aiming for but when it comes down to the defensive area you're also going to be able to play as a guard but guard any center one through the five now for the physicals go with an 81 speed 
Go with the 77 acceleration. Strength, I'm going to go anywhere from a 72 and 80. And then for the vertical, go with the 75. Now for the takeovers right here, we get the shot creating. Also going to be able to get the sharp shooting with the lockdown and the rim protecting. Now whichever ones you decide to go with, make sure it's based to your own liking. I'm going to go with limitless range as well as ankle breaking shots. Now let's go ahead and check out the build name. And as you can see, we get the comparison of Draymond Green. And as y'all can see, we have created the face up for a build with pro contact dunks as well as pro dribble moves also going to be able to play elite defense and then on top of all that you're able to shoot from anywhere on the floor now this is the badge count that i did go with and the core badges are looking very solid now if you want to make any adjustments going along the way you definitely can do so let me know out of all three of these builds which one was your favorite and which one are you going to make to use now that's going to wrap it up for today's video of the top three best power forward builds in nba 2k23 in season one and again if you made it to the end man comment down tg for thank god and i most definitely want to know who the real ones are that are going to comment that down below but again man if it's your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Go ahead and turn on post notifications because I'm uploading every single day and y'all are not going to want to miss. Let's reach 50 likes on this video at least. And with all that being said, man, thank you God for another day and another opportunity. But with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.